sky. Welcome to BAM on this morning. Our scripture for this is coming from Luke chapter 19, verse 38. Blessed be the Lord. <coughs> Blessed be the king that cometh in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we come to you right now, God, as humble as we know how, Lord. First of all, we want to tell you, thank you, Lord. Thank you for last night, rest. Thank you for waking us up this morning, God. Thank you for being in our right minds, God. In the name of Jesus, thank you for the activities of all our live, Lord. Lord, I'm going to ask you just to forgive us for all our sins. Forgive us for all our shortcomings. Forgive us for everything that we did or said wrong, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I ask you just to bless this service from the beginning to the end, Lord. Send your anointing, Lord, God, to, to rain down on this place, Lord. Send your anointing, God. Just to flow on your people on today, Lord God. Lord, I ask you just to stir up the people of God on today. Whatever they stand in need of, Lord, we believe that as the praises go up, your blessings will come down. Lord, just help us to go and, hallelujah, and minister to people on today, God. Just help us to minister to the dying people of this world, Lord. In the name of Jesus, help us to minister unto the sick, Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh God.
always honor to have any of my away grandkids in the house. Amen. Thank God for London and Camden. Amen. Being here all the way from Apex. <laughs> Amen. We bless God for them. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. The New Testament book of Hebrews, chapter number nine. We want to look at verses 13 and 14, and then verse 22. Hebrews chapter 9, verses 13 and 14, followed by verse 22. If you got it, say amen. amen. Now let us all read together and it reads, neither by the, I'm sorry, verse 13. For if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of an heifer, sprinkling the unclean, sanctified to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Verse 22, and almost all things are by the law purged with blood, and without shedding of blood is no remission. Thank God for the reading of his holy word. If you would, I would like for you to turn to the person next to you as a neighbor. Oh neighbor. I know what I know. What I don't know, I just don't know. Neighbor? Oh, neighbor. I know what I know. I don't know what I don't know. But there are some things that I do know. I would like to use for a thought or subject on this morning. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. Let us pray. Dear Lord God, my Heavenly Father, in the mind and holy name of Jesus, dear Lord, I come before you, Lord, as humble as I know how. Desire for you to come on in the midst. I pray, Lord, you will speak through your sermon today. Please forgive me for all of my sins and shortcomings. Please send forth your anointing to destroy every yoke that will oppose your word or your sermon on today. And let your word go forth free under the anointing of the Holy Ghost and with power. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Maybe see you. Thank you so much. To God be the glory. If you would, one more time, church, your name is your neighbor. Neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, there, there are some things I may not know. But I want you to know today. That I, that I know it was, it was the blood that saved me. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. I believe we all have come to know the word or term blood as a result of how it has manifested itself in or on our mortal bodies in the form of an action called bleeding. Am I right about it? And while we know uh, while we know it uh, when we see or feel it, we don't really think that much about it. Amen. Or dwell on the scientific or biological definition of the word. But if we did, we would then know and understand blood to be the fluid that circulates in principal vascular system of human beings and other vertebrates. In humans consisting of plasma in which the red blood cells and white blood cells and platelets are suspended. The term blood, the term 
figuratively, is also used to depict or define uh, some or uh, someone described as uh, the vital principle, amen, or even life itself. And these two definitions, amen, the scientific and the figurative, uh, intersects and intertwines in the Bible on various occasions. Amen. And as such, pertaining to the sacrificial system, the Lord instructed Israel through Moses by stating in Leviticus 7 11, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it unto you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that make it an atonement for the soul. Are you glad about it? And verse 14 says, For it is the life of all flesh. The blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall not eat of blood, a man uh, or no manner of flesh. Amen. For the life of all flesh is in the blood thereof. And whosoever eateth it shall be cut off. Ain't God a good God? Now in this text today, we're in the New Testament book of Hebrews. And in chapter 9, beginning at verse 13, we find these words. The Bible says, For the blood of bulls and of goats, and the ashes of an heifer, sprinkling the unclean, sanctified to the purified of the flesh. Amen. He goes on to say at 14, How much more then shall the blood of Christ, amen, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, Purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Ain't God a good God? You see, when the people of the Old Testament, amen, sacrificed animals through obedience to the law of Moses, God regarded their faith and obedience, amen, and cleansed them from their sins and made them ceremonially acceptable according to to the Old Testament law. Somebody shout glory. So if then the offerings of these unwilling animals, these uh, victims of circumstance, amen, being imperfect as they were, amen, and unable to resist the will of the offering, amen, uh, can, sanct can sanctify and thereby satisfy the ceremonial cleansing of the outward man, then the Bible says, how much more shall the blood of Christ, amen, uh -huh. what was it, amen, that gave such uh, effectiveness and potency to the blood of Jesus Christ? First of all, ladies and gentlemen, it was, unlike the animals, Jesus offering himself to God. Amen. His human nature upon the altar of his divine nature. Ain't God a good God? Everybody knows that he was human when he walked the earth, but he was also divine. Am I right about it? He was just as much man as, as if he had never been God. But yet just as much God as if he had never been man. Ain't God a good God? And he being the priest, amen, the altar and the sacrifice. Amen. His divine nature serving as the priest and the altar. Amen. Hallelujah. And his human nature serving as the sacrifice or the sacrificial lamb. Amen. Therefore, he is all sufficient. He is self sufficient. He is all sufficient in his being, being the atonement for our sins. A God of God. Ladies and gentlemen, atonement. At one minute, atonement is the satisfaction or the reparation for a wrong or injury. And in this case, uh, the reconciliation of God and mankind as accomplished through the life, the suffering, 
and the death of the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you glad about it? Uh -huh. In scripture, it is often referred to as the perpetuation. Somebody shout perpetuation. Yeah, Romans 3.25 speaks of Jesus to whom God has set forth to be a perpetuation, amen, through faith in his blood. Amen, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God. Are you glad about it? Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is a Greek word. Amen, and it is used as an aspiratory. Amen. That is concretely, amen, atoning as an atoning victim. Amen. And specifically, amen, the lid of the Ark of the Covenant in the temple, amen, in the place of the mercy seat. Ain't God a good God? The mercy seat perpetuation. Amen. In 1 John 2 2, it says, and he, Jesus, is the perpetuation for our sins. And not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Hey, God, good God. First John 14 says, Herein is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us. And, did, and sent his son to be the perpetuation for our sins. Hey, God, good God. Amen. And, and both these verses uses the Greek word, hilabos. Amen. And it means atonement. Amen. Again, it is concretely and expiatory. And it means to atone for or to make amends or reparation. Thank God to God. That's why the Bible says in the New Testament, there is one God and one mediator between God. Amen. The man, Christ Jesus, amen, who died, amen, for our sins to be testified in due time. Are they glad about it? The ladies and gentlemen, secondly, it was Jesus offering himself up to God. Amen. He offered himself up to God. Amen. The eternal spirit. Amen. Not as the divine nature. Amen. So, uh, uh, Not only did the divine nature support him, but the Holy Ghost also. Amen. Which had, uh, he had without measure. Amen. Helping him in everything that he did. And in this great act of obedience, amen, he offered himself to God. And then it was Jesus' offering, amen, offering up himself to God. Amen, the Bible says without spot, amen, hallelujah, that is without any sinful stain, amen, either in his nature or in his life or in his character, ain't God to God. Uh -huh. This was conformable to the law of the sacrifices, which required that an animal or a sacrifice be without blemish. Amen. God be God. Amen. Then the effectiveness. Amen. Of Jesus' blood. Amen. God be God. Somebody shout, I know it was the blood. The effectiveness of Jesus' blood. The blood of Jesus. Amen. It is very, very great. Amen. For it is sufficient to purge the conscience. Amen. From dead works. And we know that uh, we know that purge is the Greek word uh, capitalizo. Amen. And it means to clean or to make clean or to purify. Amen. So his blood was sufficient to purge or purify the conscience from dead works. It reaches to the very soul, the very essence of who we are. Amen. Thank God to God. And the conscience. Amen. And the defiled soul. Because when we were without Christ, our souls were sinful and defiled. We were defiled with sin. Amen. We were born in sin. We were shaken in iniquity. Thank God to God. Amen. Which is a dead, dead work. Amen. Who proceeds, amen, into spiritual death, who then proceeds to <laughs> eternal death or eternal separation from God. Give the Lord a hand, God, praise for you. So, just as the touching of a dead body gave a legal uncleanness or classification to those who 
touch the dead body. Meddling and dealing with sin gives a moral defilement. Amen. Hallelujah. In our very souls, or the very souls of mankind. But the blood of Jesus, amen, has the power and potency to purge it all out. And God will be God. Yeah, yeah. And, and thereby, it is now sufficient to enable us to serve the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Our sins needed to be purged. They needed to be cleansed. They needed to be purified. Am I right about it? Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. And, and his blood, amen, is sufficient to enable us to serve the living God. Not only by purging away the guilt and the pain, but also that which separates us from God. Ain't God a good God? Amen. But by sanctifying and re renewing our souls through the gracious influences of the Holy Ghost. Ain't God a good God? Amen. Which was purchased by Christ Jesus through his shed blood. In order that we might be enabled to serve the living God in a living, amen, and lively manner. Ain't God a good God? Amen. I don't know about you, amen, but uh, I know it was the blood. The reason why we're sitting here today, blood washed and bought with a price. I know it was the blood. Where would we be without the blood? Glory, hallelujah. We, 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 we stand here, we sit here, we're not our own, but we've been bought with a price. And that price is, I know it was. I know it was the blood. Thank God to God. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you, you and you, but I know that it was the blood that saved me. Is that all right? You see, one day when I was lost, Jesus died on the cross, and I know it was the blood. Thank God. That saved me. Is that all right? And then I heard, amen, verse 22 say, And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. Is that all right? And without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. Is that all right? In other words, there is no forgiveness without the blood. <laughs> There is no pardon without the blood. There is no freedom without the blood. Is that all right? There is, hallelujah, no liberty. Thank God without the blood. Is that all right? And the Lord, hallelujah, which prompts me to sing and sing. To sing and sing. Somebody shout, sing, sing. Can you shout, amen, say, sing? Uh-huh. And last, indeed, my Savior bleed. And did my sovereign die? Amen. Would he devote that sacred head for such a word as I? Ladies and gentlemen, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. Uh-huh, and the burden of my heart. Uh-huh, roll away. Is that all right? Uh-huh, you were there by faith that I received my son. And now I'm happy. Amen, all the day. Is that all right? I know it was the blood. Thank God that saved me. Is that all right? I wish I had some people back that was seen, say, uh huh, and say, say, uh huh. If you would say, say, 
a hug and say sin. With me, you would say, Where's well, the crimes that I, amen, have done? A uh -huh, he crawled up all the tree. A uh -huh, amazing pit. Amen. Grace unknown. Amen. And love beyond degree. Yes, at the cross. At the cross. Amen. When I first saw the light. And the burden of my heart. Amen. Rolled away. It was there by faith. That I received my sight. And um, I'm happy. Thank God all the day. That I rock. Ladies and gentlemen. I know ha, that it was the blood. Ha, I know it was the blood. Ha, I know it was the blood ha, that saved me. Is that right? ha, you see, one day when I was lost, ha, she was died on the cross. Ha, and I know ha, it was the blood ha, that saved me. Is that right? ha, ladies and gentlemen, that soul cleansed the blood. Ha, and God is going to go. Ha, that heart Fixing blue, ha, and God in God, ha, that light changing blue, ha, and that all right, ha, that spirit altering blue, ha, and that saved me. Ha. You see, one day, ha, when I was lost, ha, Jesus died ha, on the cross, ha, and I know it was the blood ha, that saved me. Ha, and that all right, ha. You see, I heard, ha, you see, I heard, ha, the Lord of Hallelujah. Ha, uh -huh, people sing. Uh, so somebody uh, ought to sing, say, uh, somebody ought to stay sing. Uh, can we sing, say, uh, and can we stay sing? Uh, 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 you see, I heard uh, uh, people sing uh, and then about the blood uh, uh, down through the years. Uh, and, then, uh, uh, and yes, uh, the blood of Jesus, uh, a man of the world, uh, are singing about. Uh, and then, uh, uh, can you sing, say, ha? can you sing, sing today? Ha? Can there be somebody ha? that will sing ha? about the blue? Ha? And they are up, ha? and as I get ready ha? to blow this thing, ha? I'm so glad ha? that as I sing, say, ha? say, sing, ha? I heard somebody say, ha? that there is power, ha? a power, ha? what is the power ha? in the blood ha? of the land? There is power. Sing, say, ha, if you can sing, say, ha, 
and stay seen. Ha! When you sleep with me, ha! for the regions, ha! the highest mountain, ha! and it flows ha! to the Lord God. Ha! The blood, ha! the blood ha! that gives me strength ha! from day, ha! from day to day. It will never, 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 never lose, ha! never lose. Ha! It is power. It is power. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a prospect, a man, an inquisitor, and God in God, somebody shout, inquisitor. If you are a prospect, an inquisitor, somebody who is acquiring, an inquiring God, a God in God, someone who is interested in looking into the salvation a man that we have a man of hallelujah and they want to know by what means they can be saved is it alright set free and delivered is it alright and if they should somehow all come a man hallelujah to the conclusion a man that they want to be cleansed for the pollution of a lifetime, a man in a lifestyle of sin. And if they should ask you, oh, hallelujah, where can I wash away my sin? I wish I had somebody in pain that would sing, say, and that would say, sing, and say, nothing, nothing, nothing. But the blood of Jesus, what can make me whole again? I wish I had somebody in there to sing, sing, and to say, sing, nothing, 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 nothing but the blood of Jesus. There I am, I'm good my seat. Oh, precious, is the flow that makes me what is the power? No one I found I know Say, say, and say, say, nothing, nothing, nothing but the blood of Jesus. I got to go, but I just want to let somebody know that after almost 40 years of salvation, I'm happy. Where I stand, where I sit, and where I abide, to sing, sing, and to sing, sing, to let somebody know that I know, and yet I know, I don't care if no know, but I know. Can you shout, I know? I know. Can you shout, I know? I know. I know. It was the blood. That save me. If you never hear me preach again, just know my heart is fixed. My mind is made up. I got to be. I'm gonna be. Can't nobody stop me from being red. From being red. From being red. The life is in the blood. And I know it was the blood that saved me. Thank God, thank God. I wonder if anybody bad know that it was the blood. One day, when I was lost, even before I got lost, Jesus died on the cross. And I know, I don't need nobody to tell me, I know it was the blood that saved me. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission or forgiveness. 
for any love of our sins. Amen. I'm thankful for that today. In this nearby Easter season, know that if it had not been for the blood of Jesus, those animals were unwilling victims. They didn't decide I want to lay down my life. Somebody decided for them. But Jesus said, Lo, I come in the bottom of the book it is written to me to do thy will, O God. He said, A body has not prepared me. Isn't that right? And he said, I'll go now and redeem man back to God. And it was only possible to imbibe his innocent blood, pure blood, in his shed. We sing around here. He sacrificed his life for my liberty. Where God has been preached, is there anybody in this place, man, woman, boy, girl, wants to give his or her heart to Jesus? Anybody wants a united fellowship and become a member of Born Again Ministry, the Triumph Church? We invite you to come forth. Amen. Jesus called. He's knocking at the door of your hearts. All you have to do is let it be. There is such a person. I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Father God in heaven. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. I come before you today recognizing I am a sinner in need of salvation. I believe in you, Father. I believe in your son, Jesus Christ. I believe that he died on the cross for my sins. And that you raised him from the dead for my justification. <laughs> Lord, I just want to thank you for forgiving me of all my sin. Come into my heart. Make me a new creature. And based on your word, I want to thank you. First of all, I make you the Lord, the Savior, and the Master of my life. And I want to thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. You prayed that prayer? You are now a newborn child of God. Amen. You are now in the fact of God and in the body of Christ. Amen. And we invite you to United Fellowship with the church of your choice. As we always say, we invite you to go to the ministry, the Triumph Church, located at 4779 NC Highway 33 Northwest, in the city of Tarboro, North Carolina, where the word of God is preached, the love of God is on display, and the name of Jesus is glorified. Amen. Amen. Anyone who heard the word and did not respond, amen, by making Jesus the Lord of your life. Amen. And let the record show that the word has been preached, the invitation has been extended. You did not come. Let the record show that if you died in sin and your soul be lost, not be the father of pastor, strong Lord, born again, ministry, but you will have to bear your own shame and blame. And God will still be glorified. Amen. We give good day to everyone on life. And we want to thank you for tuning in and having a beautiful and outstanding and wonderful rest of the day. God bless you. Let's give it all a hand clap of praise. Yeah.